Okay, so let's do problem number two. It says, evaluate the dot product of the three pairs of vectors below. And they give you so it's three problems, and we have to find the dot product between A and B, C and D, and E and F. So remember that for the dot product, there are two equations for them, depending on whether or not you have them in coordinates, which is set A dot B, equal to the sum of the components this should be b by and then so this would be if there's two dimensional vectors like these are two dimensional vectors and then if you have a, a third dimension az times bz where this is the x component of a this is the x component of b the y component of a the y component of b so this is one of the equations for dot product but it's not the one that we're going to use because there's another one that's the geometric definition, which is that the dot product is equal to the two magnitudes times the cosine of the angle in between them. And right here they give us all angles. So for A, the two magnitudes are 3 and 5. And we want the cosine of 40 degrees. Three times five times the cosine forty degrees, eleven point five matches the eleven right there. For B we do the same thing, two times three times the cosine of the angle between a hundred and forty, and we get negative four point six. So two times three times the cosine of one forty negative 4.6 which matches the negative 4.6 now the reason it's coming out as a negative and that's important is because the vectors are in opposite directions here the angle is less than 180 degrees here it's on a 180 90 degrees and here it's more than 90 degrees so there's so if you look at this angle anything on this side is with, with another vector on this side is going to give you a positive dot product but if it's over here it's going to give a negative dot product and then for these two you can do 3 times 4 times cosine of 90 gives you 0 and the dot product of any two vectors that are 90 degrees is going to be 0 alright done